What's up guys? STX3 gun. We got an ammo review coming up out of our custom 2011. We'll see which one's the most accurate. Alright guys, we got Federal 115, we got uh, Monarch 115, we got Remington 115, and we got some Blazer 115s, and then I got some hand-loaded 115 RMR bullets, <clears throat> and then we've got a Winchester 124. And we're going to have Taylor shoot all of these from 25 yards offhand, so we give you a nice, honest review, not posted up on a table or anything else like everybody else is going to do. As we set up here, 25 yards, we got some pasters up there, we got Federal 115s, give it a shot. This one right here, but we had a pretty good tight group. Now none of this is zeroed to my gun specifically, it's zeroed to my hand loads. But uh, that's probably about a two inch group there with one flyer and that was probably me. All right, on to the next. All right, Taylor, what we got next? All right, we got some Monarch 115s, brass case, not steel case. So here we go. <clears throat> All right, guys. let's go check it out. Monarch 115s. We got about about three and a half inch group. It's not too bad. <clears throat> I think the Federal was a little tighter, minus my flyer, but not too bad. All right. All right, Taylor, what we got next? All right, we got Remington 115s. Let's see what this one will do. All right guys, Remington 115's here. Probably about two and a half inch. I had one flyer, I'm sure that was me. All right, Taylor, what we got? All right, we got Blazer 115's coming up next. All right, so my awesome camera guy forgot to film the Blazer 115 group, but it's about five, five and a half inches. Don't worry, we'll fix it in editing. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we got 115 hand loaded. It's an RMR bullet, 115, with 5.5 grains of auto comp and a small pistol primer. See if Taylor can beat the big factory names. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is my custom load, 115s here, and we shot about a two and a half inch group. I think probably the best so far. You feel anything different shooting your hand loads to the factory? The only reason I shoot my hand loads is to operate the ports in my gun so I get the dot to recover a lot faster. All right, so just for the hell of it, we got some 124 Winchesters here. Let's see if the higher weight is making any difference. Those were a lot spicier. Yeah, I could definitely tell. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's our 124s. I think that stuff's mil spec. It's pretty spicy, but uh, about three and a half inch group overall, pretty good. All right, so Taylor just finished up shooting. Now, what are your final thoughts? All right, guys, so after looking at all the uh, groups here, I found that the Federal shot, I shot the best group with the Federal. Then my hand load was second. Then the Remington was third, Monarch fourth, the Winchester 124s uh, fifth, and then the Blazer 115 was in last place. Uh, this will vary between guns and shooters, obviously, but uh, that's just a quick rundown. If uh, you want a peace of mind, I would probably maybe just go ahead and get the Federal. All right, guys, like and subscribe for more videos to come, and we'll catch you next time. This is XTX3 Gun.